Oh, brethren, the self-centered nature of flesh. Masters of self-pity. Masters of the pity party. The masters of excuse and blame shifting. I love, I love how passage after passage in the Bible, the Lord just holds up the mirror. There we are going on and on about what's wrong outside of us. If we open up the Bible and there He is, the Lord, boom! The mirror in your face. Are you fine? Once you get once you get serious about coming to terms with this this book teaches, you know what you find? You end up finding out that this book knows far more about me than I do. <laughs> All that to say, what you so often think you need is not what you need. What you most need and what I most need is to get our face buried in this book and cast our eyes on this One and of whom it said He went about doing good. And when you look at Him and you take Him in, you know what you find? Before you know it, you're out doing good just like Him. Not as some effort to fill a void, but an overflowing response of His goodness, the goodness that you've seen in Christ and the goodness that He has shown towards you and poured out upon you. For the joy, last week we talked about it, for the joy set before Him, He endured the cross. Christian, what have you endured for Christ? Has, has, it, has it been that? To that extent? Keep in mind, he, he was sinless. You're a sinner. For the joy set before Him, He endured the cross. Brethren, this is why we're, we're still here. This is why God's still getting, the heart's still pumping. We got life and you, you recovered from your sickness. You, you, a lot of people got sick. God brought you back to health. You know why? To do good. For good works. To do good. Mark it down. As soon as you start to do that, as soon as you, as soon as you determine to, to give yourself afresh to be obedient to this calling of being a doer of good, mark it down. The devil will be hot on your heels. He will. He's out for blood. He's ready to take down. He's ready to destroy anything good. Anything that's a threat to His kingdom. And listen, the devil is not something Disney dreamed up. It's not, the demonic realm is not some figment of Hollywood's imagination. It's real. The devil is real. And he, he, he sleeplessly is seeking ways to destroy, looking at the destruction of anything and anyone that even sniffs Christianity. He's looking to destroy you, Christian. And I hope you're not so naive to think, well, I, you know, I can kick back with my five points and throw caution to the wind because if you think that way, before you know it, you're going to be on your back wondering what happened to you. This clip was taken from Craig Musselman's full sermon, Don't Miss Opportunities for Good, 